All right. For those of you that are just joining us, uh, we apologize for the delay. We were uh, trying to get our broadcast together. Uh, right now, the, the Barclay Bears are playing our Central Lady Rebels. Uh, I'm Tyce Lominger, joined up here with the new Dr. Bill Thomas. <laughs> Bill Thomas, I'm glad to be up here with Tyson. and appreciate the uh, shout out there. No score in the game at the moment. Uh, Barclay had it down low and traveled on their end, and Central threw it away the first time. Now Central's got it. Ray Brady out to Macaria Hines. Rebound goes to Barclay. That is Sinanuk with the rebound. Uh, their post player down low. Barclay starting with two uh, very tall players for them. They're bringing in a lot of size early on. Nice drive. Rebound is fought for. Rhea Brady comes down with it for the Saints. Over to Savannah Luna. Saints in an overload offense right now. All their players on the left side. We're going to bring Lexi Wisenhand over, try and balance this court out. Back to Macaria. In to Harmony Tart. He turns. Back out to Lexi. Shot just misses. Rebound, Barclay. That was a good job by Harmony Tart, though. Just driving in, getting people to collapse, and then kick out to their shooter. Just a missed shot. Both teams a little bit uh, cold on the offensive end so far, Tice. Yes, there is no score. Couple girls falling on the ground. Everyone's shooting long right now. There's not many been, there hasn't been many short shots. Got Luna over to Tart, underneath to Brady. What a pass. First bucket of the day goes to Rhea Brady. This is one of Brady's first starts uh, here at home court this season. Good to see her out here. Um, this is a junior for the Saints. That was a nice play by the Saints. Get that inside. Good pass. I mean, Tart playing some excellent defense over here on number. That's a three. And it banks in. Bears up one. Luna brings it down. Over to Macaria. Back to Savannah. And that's two. Saints are, doing, Saints are doing a great job getting the ball into the middle, and then their post players finding excellent uh, open shooters. They've, uh, passing looks really good so far. Bears at the top. At the elbow, a drive. No good. Rebound, Savannah Luna pushing the ball down. Now she pulls it out. Great job by Hines getting that deflection, but Barclay's going to retain possession, take it all the way down. That layup does not go. Layup does not go, and no foul. Good move by Savannah Luna there, not fouling. Saint spreading the floor out this time. Ray is looking. There's a three from Macaria. Boom! Down it. Macaria Hines downtown. Great pass by Brady with the hook shot or the hook pass over to Hines opening the top. Saints are up by four. And we're gonna get a double dribble that time. I thought they were gonna go ahead and call a foul on Luna there. She put her hands down as soon as the whistle went. Mm -hmm. But we're gonna retain Saints ball. Or we're gonna go Saints ball. That's a couple turnovers for the Bears on their end. Saints are excited to be home. You can tell the energy that they're playing with. They've been gone for almost an entire month now. It's been his first home game in quite a while. Vantomi in for the Saints. She's playing on the outside now. Yeah, she's, we usually see Vantomi in the middle, but she's out on the wing. That was a travel by Hines. Going to go the other way for Barclay, one of their first turnovers, uh, dead ball turnovers. Mm -hmm. Barclay's got a sub in. They bring the ball down. This is number one Prince in for the Bears. Double zero with the drive and the basket. That's a good move by Barclays double zero there. Harmon Tart's doing a great job up top searching for the ball. 
Curry has got it again. They're overload on the side. That's a three from Luna. Just off. Rebound goes to the Bears. Number 11, Munez with the ball right now. Going to bring it up for the Bears. She's going to set up her offense. Bears are running pretty slow. They're going to come in with a horns offense. Move off the left of that screen. That's under the basket. Got it to go. Hines bringing it down this time. Over to Bantomi, into Brady. Great pass by Good Brady. pass. Fortunately, off of Tart's knee on that pass, uh, going to go the other way. Saints are going to go ahead and bring in a couple subs. We're going to see number 21, Rachel Darling. And we're also going to see number three, Atira Davis. That's Atira Davis in. Uh, going at our Hines and Tart. This is Prince up top, handling the ball. Good screen, and Barclay turnover. Saints are going to bring it back their way. Gonna pause for Davis to tie her shoe real quick. Score is seven to seven right now. Three minutes to go in this first quarter. Turnover by Turnover. Van Tomey. Barclay's got it at the top. Slowing the ball down. Number eleven Munez with the ball back over to Rios. Rios looking for. That's going to be a two. Does it go? Rebound Van Tomey. Out to Davis, and the Saints are coming back down. Cheer to Savannah. Savannah's going inside to Rhea. And we're going to have a walk. Yep, Brady, Brady knew the move she wanted to make, but took her step before she took that power dribble down low. They're going to call her for the travel. It's one of the two things the rest are looking for down low. They're looking for the hands of the defense and the footwork of the offense. Having been down there, Tyson, I'm pretty sure that you are well aware of that. Oh, I've gotten many travels called in my day. <laughs> this is Sinanuk with the ball. She's doing a great job getting around. We might have got a break there or not getting a foul. Back out to the top. Drive. They told me with the block. Davis using her speed to get down the court past everyone. Out to Wisenand, to Luna, back to Van Tomey. Inside to Wisenand, out to Davis for the three. Great extra pass. Doesn't go, and that ball's going to go to the Bears. Scoring, uh, we had a scoring drought a little bit here, Tice, we in do. the last few minutes. That's how, essentially how it was in the first half, or the first few minutes of the game. Now every shot was going long or short, and now we're back to this moment. We've got a timeout here on the floor. All right, coming out of that timeout, again, we're going to have Bears ball after that long shot by Davis that led to the out-of-bounds. Bears make the pass over to the left side. Prince with the ball. The corner. And Van Tomey with the rebound, cleaning up the board. It's over to Davis. Saints are playing a different kind of offense than they normally do. Typically, the uh, Our Lady Saints enjoy playing a slower game, bringing it up, letting people get set, but... See him playing much faster here. That's inside a good pass to Van Tomey, and that's a layup for two. That's good, a good play. That was a great play, and good job by Van Tomey using the backboard there. Uh, I think she gets a little, little ahead of herself sometimes, likes to just throw it up and in. With the hook shot, good job using the glass, being formed. 
That was a nice play. Good, good look by the Saints. Barclay counters with the two from the wing. And we're tied at nine. Davis has it at the top. Over to Hines. Down to Van Tomey. With Ray Brady out, Van Tomey's still playing that wing offense, not sitting down low. That's McCarry with her three, just off. Good rebound by Claire. They didn't call over the back. You're glad about that. I am. That's a made-up call. There's no such thing as an over the back. You can't punish someone just for being <laughs> taller. There is a push, and there's a person or a loose ball foul. Davis for three doesn't go, and that rebound goes to the Bears. Davis sitting on defense on number 11. Playing pretty tight, making her handle the ball. That could be turnover. Down to the corner. Reverse, that one's gonna get called. Number uh, number zero, Sinanuk, she went for a reverse and then came back to the side that she was originally coming from. Not much Claire could do with that one, nope. I don't think, defensively. No, nope, she put her arms right into Claire's arms and the ref is gonna give it to the offense. And she makes the first. Say double zero's name again for me, Ties. Sinanook. 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 That's what I was told. So if her parents are listening, and that is not correct. She got them both. Do, we know, do we know where she's from, that name? Sinanook. I do not. We don't. You're the doctor. I, I don't know where that name is from either. But that was good two free throws, and the Bears are on top by two. Number 11. Uh, Munez and number 12 coacher coming right up to play defense on Davis when she brought the ball. They're looking for a trap at the mm -hmm. high. Defense for both teams has been pretty uh, intensive. They played pretty hard defense. Very. They. I mean, it was a close game for them last time, so I'm sure they both won it and they both know the way to get it is to yep. get stops. Yeah, down in Barclay, the Saints came out on top in a very close game. I think at one point. Yes. This is over to number one, Prince. Prince back to number 11, Munez. Prince with the ball, drive right into Brady. Oh, Brady with block. a big block. Good block. That's going to save a lot. Porter's going to end with that one. And Tice at the end of one. The Saints are trailing by two, 11 to nine. They are. Good job by Davis knowing time and score because I was not sure why she heaved that up. I thought she had Rachel Darling running in for the layup, but. Uh, she had to do that, the clock's winding down. Yep, good job, no one's time and score. All right, with that, the first quarter is over. We will see you in a minute. Very quick first quarter. Um, I know we started the broadcast about a minute late, but even then, there was only a 14 uh, minutes so far. So, quick first quarter, moving into the second quarter. Saints are down 9 to 11, but they have possession here. They have an opportunity to make something happen. Macaria Hines has been shooting a lot of threes in that first quarter. Made her first one, the second ones have not been far off. That's a tough one. Saints turned that first possession over. There's a chance we'll be a minute. I think that ball went downstairs into the locker room area. As they retrieve the ball, teams head down to the other side. Bears bring it down. 
Defensive playing a man to man. Ball goes inside. Sunduk with the ball. She's about lost it. Got her dribble back. Got it back. Back to back out. That's a drive. Nice. Off the rim. No good. Rebounded by the Bears. Back out to the top. Prince. Off the rim. Brady cleans that one up. That was a nice little Euro set there by Munez, but unfortunately was not able to get that to fall for the Bears. Davis has it at the top now for the Saints going to Darling. Over to Tart. I would love to see Rhea seal up top right here. Get her in right there. Tough pass. Good pass back to, to Davis. That's going back to Rhea. Shot clock's winding down, and the Bears make a steal. That was tough. I think Davis did a step back. I thought she was going to shoot. I think Brady thought for a little bit she was going to shoot, too. that five-second call, Tice. That was a long time she held the ball. That was. In and out. Darling with the rebound. Darling doing all the defense Ooh. there. Tough break on that one. Basket's good for the Bears. The refs are definitely letting them play tonight. Yeah, I thought Dar Darling got hit on that one before that, before that basket happened. But I am not the official. Tart over to Davis. Davis with the shot. That one's going to be off. Great tip by Brady, though. Tar Harmony Tart with... Picks up the loose ball, 15-footer. Good rebound by the Bears. Saints are playing hard, but just not getting the ball to fall. Yep. This is number 12, Crocher with the ball. Crocher looking over to number 24, Kettles. Kettles, first time I've, uh, she's been in tonight. Did That's a good move quarter. by double zero. Didn't go. And Wisdom with the rebound. Davis over to Tart. Harmony back out top to Davis. Over to Darling. Darling inside to Brady. You like that look. A lot of play by Brady. Need that to go. That was a good job by Brady. She understood that the, her man was behind her and she took it to the rim. Unfortunately, just like you said, same story of the ref or the Saints just not able to put it in. I need to put it in. They are letting them play out there. There's a lot of uh, physicality going on. Love out it. There. Love to see it. Nothing more frustrating than getting some foul calls called on you that you think were soft. Uh, that's true. Um, I believe we've got we've got a whole lot of folks coming in. We got a lot of folks coming in. We got it looks like an injury and a puker. Uh, for her sake, I won't say yeah. numbers, but I'm glad I missed that one. <laughs> there is a Bears player throwing up currently. Not glad I missed that one. Good job on the ref, or their uh, assistant coach there covering it up. Tart has it in the corner, out top to Wisenhan. That one's going to be tough. Good job, Wisenhan saving Good that hustle. ball. Good hustle. Tommy over to Luna. Luna, Luna with the open the three. That's a long three, just off. Sendanuk with the rebound. She's going to take it up herself. Never mind, yes. give it to 11 Sendanuk units. Sendanuk is, is playing a good game for the Bears. The Bears are playing. It's going to be a good game, both teams, really. That's going to be a steal. Davis has it. Good job, Davis, pulling it out out of that trap. Oh, tough play. That was open. We just couldn't get the pass in there. Nope. You want to float that up, especially throwing to someone tall. Float it up top. It's a long ways out there. Off the rim. Rebound to and We're doing a good job on the boards. We are. We're definitely leading this rebound battle. Saints are going to play a five-out offense here. Some pass and cuts. Definitely looks like the uh, the men's team, mm -hmm. the play that they like to run. That's Fantomi at the top. Luna down to Tart. Back to Luna. Shot clock winding down. Wizard in drives. It did oh, hit the rim. So. Did it hit the rim? I that, don't know. It didn't look like that to me, but nope. we got a good move on that one. I don't know if Wisenhan thought it hit the rim either because she <laughs> threw it right back up. Typically, if you get an offensive rebound, you want to pull it out. Use your whole 20 seconds. Make the defense work again. I don't I don't think she thought it hit the rim. I don't think so either. I didn't think it hit the rim. That's a drive in the middle. That's a basket. That is number 25, Croy. I'm going to believe – I believe that's the name that I was given. 25 is – Could be Croyance. Could be Croy. Crow. Yeah. Croy, 
Croy. That was a good play. That was a good that play. Was a good play. She that was strong in the middle. She was. She spun around, didn't hit him with an elbow, but used her upper body and lower body there with a leg whip. To Not get a lot for Lexi to do with that one. And the Bears have kind of extended the lead here now, six points. Coach Z doing a lot of subbing so far this game, uh, more than I see usual, but I think she's making good subs. She's getting her post players in and out, giving them a rest, making sure all of her guards are moving, everyone's touching the ball on offense. It's good to see how the Saints are playing right now. I would say, Tyce, looking at this game from watching games on the road, the Saints are playing with more intensity tonight than I have seen a little bit on the road. They're, they're very much in the game. I agree with that. I agree with that. They're mentally here. They're physically here. I think the crowd's helping with that. They're playing on a familiar court. There's just so much going the Saints way, except for the ball hitting the bottom of the rim. We just seem to have a lid on the basket. Other than that, though, I think the Saints are looking real good. And that could turn around at any time. Luna's got it at the top. Over to Davis. Tart slashing across. Saints are moving a lot more on offense. They are. They're getting open. They're screening. They're cutting. That was a great cut right there by Davis. And then you've got Van Tomey coming right behind. What a drive by Tart. That's going to be a foul. <laughs> Even I saw that one way up here, Tyson. <laughs> yep. That foul is brought to you by number five, 25, Croy. And we have number 24, Harmony Tart, with a chance at two. First one's up. Right down central. Good looking shot. Good looking shoes, too. Right. Yes, I like those shoes. They're, they're, the, the shoes now are much more colorful than the old days. Yes. You got them both. Pulling the Saints to within four. Just looking around, you've got tart shoes. You've got Crutchfield with gold shoes, Luna with pink shoes. And you got Brady with those pink shoes. Yep. And don't forget Darling's blues. Good steal by Davis with the drive. To get out. And one! Out there. And Davis with a chance to complete the three-point play here. Great job attacking the rim, attacking the defense, not scared of the contact. It was a good play, good hustle play, and a good finish. We finished that one. Davis shot is up, and it's off the rim. Put about every part of that rim before it he came sure off. sure did. She's a good free throw shooter. I thought that was going to go down. All right. Nunez with the ball, bringing Nunez it up. Bringing Great Tarp. job on Tart. Tart's got a steal. Going to go one-on-one -on -one with Nunez. We get a foul. We did get the foul. Ball did not go down. It did not. I would have. Man, she's got the two free throws. I'm happy about two free throws, but good job, Davis, running down the other end, uh, doing what you should do as a teammate. Yep, that was a good. That was a good play, and they have to earn them from the strike. Oh, first one's in and out. Number uh, zero, Sinuk. She is Ooh. hands high, trying to distract any way she yeah. can legally. But Saints are within one, and they're in the full court press. This could be an interesting time of the game, Ty. This was, uh, <laughs> well, they were in a full court press, but no press happened. I think uh, Luna was a little late getting down there, and Sinanuk was just open. That's a drive, and that's going to be called. I thought it was called a little bit late, but. I believe so. Um, the but ball hey, I'm, I'm from Central, so <laughs> what can we say? <laughs> yeah. Definitely the fouls are began to rack up as there was maybe one foul called in the first quarter. And the first free throw is in. The bounce goes down for the Bears, and they increase the lead to two points. This is number 10, Viviana Rios. Second one's good. I like the intensity that the Saints are playing, but the Bears are playing hard too. Bears are moving into a full court press as well. Saints got to send someone in the middle, hopefully, to help. Yeah, over to Tart, driving. Don't get trapped down there. Over to Davis. That's a long three. Off the back iron and back to the Bears. Our Lady Saints, they uh, 
And For having deep threes, they have a different it. problem than what you normally see. Typically, yeah. you see them shoot short, but our girls are shooting hard today. Oh, yep. I think that one's going to be on Claire. Yep, that was a foul. She swung down. Anytime the refs get a chance to call someone swinging down, they're going to call it, even if That's, it's on ball. Even if you don't touch them, they're going to call that swing. I guess you've had that experience, too, a few times, huh? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Still mad. There was a time I came in, had three fouls and two minutes of play, sat right back down on that bench uh -huh. for the whole quarter. Sometimes what uh, looks like a foul is a foul, whether you commit it or not. I think the refs have too much power. <laughs> we should revolt. Free throw is up and good. That's look, that was a good free throw. Oh, some interesting transitions here. I think the Bears are getting ready for their press, bringing Sin Nuke back out. Second free throw is good. And you're right, the Bears are in applying some pressure. Tart has it over in the corner. Get that ball to the middle. Over to Macaria, back to Harmony. Tough spot to be in by Tart, but great job dribbling through all of, of that, it. He dribbled out of that trap. Back to Van Tomey. Van Tomey drives. Oh, what a spin back. Oh, that would have been an amazing if that had gone down. Jab step, dribble the middle. Leg hook. That looked good. That was real good. And she's going to get two from the foul line. Saints have lately struggled from here, though. Yeah, Saints had two really good possessions there. Brought the score within one, and they struggled a little bit again. We're getting opportunities. Need to, need to capitalize on these. Right there. Nice shot. And Claire Sfrito makes it a four-point game. Saints, again, just late to that press. I don't know if they're supposed to guard Sinanook or not, but she's getting it and just dribbling it down every time. Yep, that's going to uh, be. That was tipped. That was tipped. Yeah, Senator's getting it down low. Is it to Troy? Croy. Croy, yes. Okay, Croy. Sorry about that. Sorry, I was a. Uh, that's a good two, and that's going to go down for two. We are in college now, not high school. Different three point line. That's for sure. Luna's got it at the wing, over to Hines at the top, down to Tart. And Tommy in the corner, pass back to Tart. Out top to Luna. Tough ball to handle. Down to Tart, that's in the corner, and that's a shot. Just off. Uh, Mr. Croy with a good box out there. Yes, she was sealing Van Tomey down there, not allowing her to get the rebound at all. This ball is right now in Davis' hands. Haven't called her name much tonight. Mm -hmm. still guard. That's going to be on number 11, Macy Crutchfield. I think she's got one more of those, and if she fouls like that again, just trying to reach through, you got to switch in uh, front. But never mind, Ray Brady is coming in. Going to try and make this matchup a little, little better for the Saints. That's a tough matchup for Mason. It's a tough matchup. It's probably going to be a tough matchup for anyone. I don't disagree. Oh, they're going to call that reach. Yep. That's a ticky tack win for how they've been calling them. That has. They have. I don't know what the refs talked about after the quarter, but they have decided to start blowing them whistles. It's four to four, though. I'm not going to say they're calling yeah. them one way or the other. They're calling nope. an even game. They're, they're just they're just calling more now. Yes. That's a good shot. Mm. Good job by Croy. Yeah, that's a good play. Hines back in the game for the Saints. She's going to lead out this offense. Hines over to Tart. Down inside to Claire Van Tomey. Back out pass. to Luna. Wide open for three. Just off the rim. Good rebound by Brady. Hard to the board and hard up. And hey. Great play, Rhea Brady. She fought for that one. She did. She did. I think she spun to her dominant hand, had to end up spinning back, put it right back in. Good job, Brady. Davis with a good move. Good board by Harmony Tart. Saints coming back down, trailing by six. Claire Van Tomey running down that court, looking to get her spot. We're under two minutes in the half. 
Brady's got it with that pass across the way to uh, Macaria. No good. Rebound by the Bears. Oh, can see a trap right here in the corner. They're trying to set it up. She dribbles out. And number 11, Munez with the ball. Munez is driving. She's going in. That's Croy, and that's a good looking shot. Didn't go this time. Brady with the rebound. Saints wasting no time getting right back down that court. Pass to Van Tomey. Good board, good fight in there. Still fighting, rebounded by her. Oh, we're gonna get a, a held ball going to the Bears. Yep. Not oftentimes do you tell your post player to keep it low, but with both defenders' hands in the air, I would have loved to see another step through, which Van Tomey is really good at, keeping it low, possibly dishing it to uh, Brady there. I think if she'd done a step through, she'd have got fouled trying to go up. Probably. They had a, a slap down, and that would have been the call. But I think ending with a uh, jump ball there is probably the best thing that could happen. One minute left in this half. Bears lead by six with the ball. Drive. Oh, we got a foul call. I think that one's going to be on Van Tomey. That's going to be I think so. her second, or is that her third? I think it's her second. Should be her second, I believe. But ended up sandwiching number 11 there. No, number 10. That's, that's Claire's third. Yep, we are probably – I don't know if we'll see Claire again until the fourth quarter potentially. Depends on what, how coach wants to play it because yes, – we won't, Yeah, we won't see her the rest of this quarter for sure and probably part of the next. That's a good shot. The Bears are shooting well from the foul line. They have. I don't have the stats up here, but it doesn't seem like they're missing very many. Nope. I think that is going to be the defi deciding factor of this game. I know it's hard for a coach to go back and tell people to shoot free throw. Like That's good. At halftime, you need to bring your free throw percentage up. Sometimes you hit, sometimes you don't. But if the Saints want to keep in this game, they're going to figure out a way not to Saints need a bucket here to, to keep momentum on their side heading into half. Luna over to Davis. Well, it would be nice to see a three. It would be. With an and over to Luna. Good clock management, though. She Wizen had a three. Drives, getting it to Brady. Back out to Luna. Playing the triangle there. Wizen and shoots, and that's two. Good post hook by Lexi Wizen. Fought for that one. Earned those two. Earned those the hard way. They did. But like you said, they were playing a triangle offense there. Love to see that old school offense playing in that triangle. Big screen by Croy. That's a pass over the corner. That's a three if it goes. Just off, Davis with the rebound, it's a big time. 10 seconds left Get on the last basket of the quarter. Bears are pressing her. Corey is playing some going great down. full court defense, four seconds. Shot's gonna be for Wizenan. And just off. Oh, no good, that was close. Good job though by Brady finding Wizenan down low, getting they, that shot uh, up. Saints have some momentum heading into the second half, only down six. Yep, yep, it was good to see them pick it up towards that end. They're playing some good. High pace, high quality basketball here. A lot of intensity on the floor. Teams are playing hard. Yep. Great first half. We'll see you after.
Hey, welcome back. We are getting ready to start the uh, second half, the third quarter. I want to give you some uh, statistics from the first half. Uh, leading scorers for the Bears, uh, Sinanuk. Uh, Kate Sinanuk is leading with uh, seven points, and uh, Croy has six. Bears have some balance scoring. For the Saints, McCurry Hines leads with five points, and Rhea Brady has four. The Saints have had 12 turnovers to the Bears' seven. That's the point we talked about earlier, Ty, yep. in the second half. If it's going to change for the Saints, got to handle the ball better and win that turnover battle. Yeah, I think for most coaches, they would love to see under 15 turnovers in a game, um, and they already have 12 in the first half. Saints get the ball. Luna over to Hines. This is the part that always messed me up, coming back into the game after halftime, switching goals. It is a little bit uh, different, and uh, it's a big possession for the Saints. Need to get a good start to the second half. Harmony Tart over to Macaria, out to Lexi Wisnan for a corner two. In and out. Mm. Mm. That needed to go. Rebound for the Bears. Macaria Hines playing a little bit of predator right there. Ball goes inside. Out to Sinanuk. Number to 11. Inside to Croy. Stolen by Wisnan. Marino's tried to get it in there to Croy, and... That's a good move for the Bears, getting that ball inside to Croy. Oh, good move Harmony by Tart. Tart. <clears throat> All the way through. Couldn't quite finish that one. Sinek with the rebound over to Nunez. Hines is still playing that little predator position of kind of trailing behind and then coming up trying to get a steal. Bears have it. Sinek who got the top. Looking for Croy in the middle. Turns and shoots. Misses that one. Rebound. Wizard in. Good thing, no, good thing no one for the Bears crashed there um, as Ray missed that rebound, fell right into. McCurry drives in the land of the Giants and scores. She is at seven right now. McCurry might be the smallest player on the floor and yet scored that one right in the trees. hey -o. Bears have it. Dribble handoff here to number four, Davis. In to Croy, that's a shot she can make and she does. Twenty one twenty seven, score right now. Hines bringing it up to Luna. Luna, Luna looking inside looking for Brady. <laughs> Tough turnover there for the Saints. Two new players coming in. Looks like Crutchfield and Macy was in. It. Saints are going with a small ball lineup here. Lots of speed out. Going to look for steals and transition points. Bears bringing it down. The much different pace than it was the first half. The teams yeah. are playing a little bit slower. Very deliberate on the part of Barclay. Sinanuk's at the top. The drive underneath, and she's going to get that one. That's going to be on Macy, I think, although Macy Wisenan with that one. Her first? Yes. I think so. That's going to put Sinanuk on the line for two. The Bears have been pretty good from the line. They have been. That's going to be one of the big differences, like I said, in the first half, is who can knock down free throws. First one is up. Right through there. Guys, the second. Left that one short, but the rebound goes to the Bears. Bringing it out. According to the statistics we were uh, brought, which I believe are correct, that was their first missed free throw of the game. They were yeah, they, eight for eight before that. They were pretty sharp on the foul line. Shot is up and rolls off. Rebound, where's the name? I did call it, Ty, that they you were did. pretty sharp on the foul line. You did, because Saints were shooting four for seven. And while eight is not many free throws to give up, when they shoot perfect from that line, Macy fires up a three that just off. Rebound by Sinanuk. Bears bring it down. This is number 11, Munez with the ball. Munez to Sinanuk. Sinanuk's turning, scanning the floor, looking for what happens. Good There's cut a lot of crossing going on in the middle for the Bears. That's going inside. That's going to go out of bounds to the Saints. Great job. Macy was in hand there, playing some defense. Hustling over there, making sure we get that ball, that turnover. Looks like the Saints are going to be in at least some kind of pressure. Now I want to see the back back players for the Saints come up, support, give a little help. Like they're running a little triangle out there. Davis is handling the ball. That's knocked out of bounds by Croy. Good defensive play there. Davis does a good job of handling the ball. She's not prone to turn it over. 
However, if the Saints want to put someone, if they want to break this press, they're going to have to bring someone in the middle. It's been a struggle so far getting that ball down. Davis at the top, over to Wizenand and the wing. Down to Lexi in the corner, back up to Atira. Lexi's got it inside to Macy Crutchfield. Denied. That's the tough defensive play there. She snatched that out of there. Macy ran into a stone wall in that one. This is Munez driving God, in. That underneath, they do that scoop shot. The Bears do a lot of scoop shots. They do, and they've, I mean, it's been rewarding them lately because the Saints like to swat down on their blocks, and it's causing a lot of fouls. Luna goes into Tennessee. Lexi, out to Davis for a three, just off the back iron. Rebound by the Bears. They got a breakaway. This is number four, Davis. And we're going to get that foul most every time. Davis on Davis. She prevented the easy basket. She did. Go earn it. First shot is up, lifted a little short. Kind of a rare thing for the Bears to miss from the foul line. Yeah, they have doubled their misses so far. Second shot on the way. Right down central. Bears lead is eight. Saints have the ball. Luna's bringing it down. Bears are going to release that pressure. Looks like they're... I think they're in a zone. Yeah, they are. Yes. They're playing a 3-2 zone. Which is an interesting zone to play because Saints have not been hitting from the three-point line. It, it is, and they're going to force them to shoot outside. Good job, That ball Davis. goes in the middle. Yeah, I would. Tara Davis with that? That was Davis with a nice turnaround. Nice shot. shot. That was a good shot. Saints needed that one. Bears bringing it down. Saints are still playing a man-to-man. -man. Very little cutting here for the Bears. crutchfield has got a tough job with Croy. She's handling it pretty good. Davis with the missed shot. Croy with that rebound, though, and puts <laughs> that back. She's going to be hard for anybody on our, on our team she, to handle. Croy has just been doing everything for the Bears, getting rebounds, playing post-defense, putting up shots. Crutchfield at the uh, foul line. Luna has it back. 17-footer just off the rim. Good rebound by Macy Crutchfield, who I wanted, I wanted uh, I did, yeah. not on the back, but I thought she connected with that one. Boom. Boom! Good shot by Lexi. I still wanted the foul earlier. I did. I did too. But I'll take two points regardless. I'll take the two. This is Nunez lost her headband, had to throw it away. She's still leading out this offense. Roy's got it at the top of the key. He's not going to shoot that one. Pass to Sinuyik. Sinanuk. Sinanuk and Croy, they're just playing some great high-low offense, constantly cutting off each other. Lead is six. The Saints can cut into that and get it down to four here. Davis has it over to Luna at the top, inside to Macy Crutchfield, turning. A lot of traffic there. Back out to Luna. Good job, Crutchfield, holding that ball tight. Davis has it. Driving over to Lexi Wisenan. Shot clock Luna is running is down. Macy's got to go up with this, and that's going to be rough. That's going to be a violation. Yep, good block by Croy. I think Luna was up top. She was clapping. She was wanting it. But when you get caught in that corner there, especially with the shot clock running out. It's hard to do, and that, that would be hard to shoot over Sinanuk and Croy there. That's a tough, that's a tough task. I believe their coach right now, he's calling for a horns offense, it looks like. Well, that's just his way of pulling up a two. Yep, it's going to yeah, be a horns that's offense. that's what they're doing. That's a wide open look. But it is going to be a, oh, uh, a she travel. She took a little trip before she took the shot. I thought they were going to call an illegal screen because they uh, she did not stop and let the screener run into her. She ran into. Barclay coach did not agree with the call. He wanted that to be a jump stop. What do you think? I don't know, like I said, I was focusing on the screen. That's where my eyes go to. Uh, we'll let you have that one. Luna has it to Tart. Davis playing some post-offense. Trying to cut. 
Harmony drives in there. There's no call. She's looking for the foul. Didn't that, get anything. That's got to be something, I feel like. Wait, he didn't even show a tip. He just didn't blow his whistle or didn't do anything at all. That was no, that was nothing. Davis fakes the handoff and oh my. slapped away. That's a big play by Sinanuk. It was a great play by Davis first, faking the handoff, coming back on it. That was a good cut and a good drive, and Sinanuk even topped it one step better. Tart drives, and that's going to be called this time. I don't think that's on Sinanuk, though. I believe that'll be on number 24, Kettles. <laughs> Sinanuk's putting her Sinanuk case. Sinanuk doesn't want it to be on her, but I think it's going to be on her. It yep. is. I, did, I didn't agree that it was on her. I thought she had another block. She, she didn't agree either, but the, the, the man in the stripes disagrees. <laughs> Harmony, <laughs> right down center. At some point, you just got to give up pleading your case because the rest not going to give you anything. Uh, yeah, they're not probably going to change their minds. I never, them both. I've never seen someone change, change a ref's mind. That's never happened? You never changed the ref's mind? Nope. I didn't. Somehow, I'm, I'm not surprised at that. Through the blood, sweat, and tears. That's a shot for the Bears up the top. No good. That's kind of a quick shot. <laughs> Davis Tart, rebound. Uh, Tart and Davis, we're not sure who's going to get the rebound. Eventually, Davis grabs it, takes it to the other end. Davis has the ball, looking over. The Bears are still playing that 3-2 defense here. Tart's doing a great job up top, though. To Luna, they're, they're, they're wanting to force the Saints to shoot outside. Great steal by Tart there. Oh. And they're going to call foul. Yes, yeah, Saints. Oh, they're going to go ahead and get the 20 after the foul. They get the 20 after the foul. Ball comes in to Harmony Tart. She's looking it over. Senanukes is uh, out on her. Yep. And Davis took one too many before she made that drive. That was a great play, though, that Coach Z called for them to run there. Double screen, Davis coming off the top. Should have worked. I thought she should have taken the shot. I thought she was going to take the shot. It was open. But the Bears have it. They're coming back down, leading by four. So, uh, some loose pressure there by the Saints. Macy playing high. Yep. Saints are, Saints are still playing man-to-man. -man. Sinanook's out top. Tart's on her. This is Kettle's down low. Kettle's down low. Off the back line, no good. That one's going to go to the Saints. Saints have a real chance here. They they haven't been as close uh, under four for quite a while. Nope. This can make it a one-possession game. There's been a couple times where the Bears have gotten ahead to up to six or eight points in this half or this quarter but Saints have not let it go no the Saints have been really tough but we haven't quite got over the hump it's a big possession here Lexi Wisner at the top over to Luna Luna thought about it she did Davis is thinking too oh she's still thinking about it there's a drive spin move no good and that rebound's going to Harmony Tart fighting in the middle there turning shooting wide open to Macaria Hines for two good job Hines I don't know if that's a shot or a pass for Tart but I call that a pass I'll call that assist. yeah I'll take that assist every day number 11 Munez with the ball Saints are within two the big defensive possession here going pass. down there to out the top to the top of the key going to Sinanuk to Prince. Prince thought about Prince it. Prince is going to drive. drive. She's open there. Look for the scoop shot. Didn't go. Big breakaway for the Saints. driving. Too Just hard off the board. She wanted, I think she thought she was going to get fouled. I think she did too. But a f shooting a layup while running full speed is a difficult task. It is. It, it violates the laws of physics. It does. Because you've got to slow your shot down while running full speed. Yeah. You've actually got to shoot it kind of away from the goal. Because your moment is going to carry you. Well, we're going to get a timeout, I think, from the Bears. One eighteen left. This has got to be a two-point game. Two-point game. Uh, before we go into timeout, I was just informed uh, to make an announcement of uh, for tomorrow. Uh, as we are coming into spring break here at Central Christian College of the Bible, we call that Outreach Week. There's an opportunity for students to go out and create their own mission teams, to go into the world and share the news of Christ and what he has done. Help out. They're going to do service projects. They're going to be missionaries out. And tomorrow we're hosting a rummage sale in our student center from 10 to 4. Uh, it's an opportunity to support our mission teams. Uh, they're going to be having sales. There's, I know there's books. There's some 
clothes, I believe. There's just some other uh, nicks and knacks that you can purchase as well as the Harvest House is selling. You can never have too many nicks or knacks. Nope, you cannot. And the Harvest House will be selling some custom drinks to match with that where the proceeds, some of the proceeds will be going to the mission team. So if you all want to come out and support that, come on out to the rummage sale tomorrow in our student center, 10 to 4. It is a great event and a great sponsoring those mission trips. Hope to see a lot of you there. It's a two-point game. Ty's coming out of this 118 in the third. Yep, I think Coach Z Spark knows. Play ball. Yep, Coach Z knows that this is a key moment here with the last minute. She wants to get ahead before the fourth quarter, and she's going to play this press. Well, the third quarter's been all Saints. Hopefully they can keep that up. Playing intense defense. The ball comes in. This is... Munez into Sinanuk. They look at the Sinanuk. That's on the baseline. That play did not look good from the start. It did not. She never really got in bounds. Nope. <laughs> in football, you can consider that unsportsmanlike conduct running out of bounds. In basketball, that's just a turnover. That's just a turnover. Yeah, Luna has it. The Bears are putting on the pressure. Great that's job. That's a tough one. Getting it to the middle, though. That's what I like to see. Luna's got it. Luna at the top, and the Bears are still in that 3-2 zone. 15 seconds left to go on the shot clock, 56 seconds left in the quarter. We're not moving quite as much as we moved in the first half. Bears have it, 45 seconds left. When you fall backwards, it's hard for the ref to call the ball. It looks like you were being soft. You want to fall forward if you're trying to take that shot. Drive. We're going to get a call here. Yeah, they're going to call it. We're going to go ahead and give her, I believe, the hip check. Having her hands on. Yes. Barclay's going to take it out underneath. Saints are still playing man to man. Looks like Davis is uh, coming out, and Macy with an end's coming in. Probably a good move not to pick up another foul here. Yep. Bears are in a box set, coming down. B screens down. Oh, that was open. She had opportunity there. That was open. That's a three if Senna Nuke wants it. She's going to drive. And that's a good defense by Harmony Tart. Good defense also, though, by Kettles. Slapped away, slowing down Macari Hines. Saints have got to get that ball across half court. Good job throwing it up. It, it's, it's tough to move the ball, I think. We, and that's a turnover. That's a tough drive to make. Both teams have a hard time. There's less than 10 left. The Bears are kind of moving slowly. Ball's at the top. Nunez, Nunez. Sinanuk with a long three. Just off the rim, and that's the end of the quarter. Good job, Wisenhan, grabbing that rebound. And this is a good quarter for the Saints. We moved it to within two. Yep, there's a good job. Even though they didn't score in that last minute and a half, they also played strong defense, not allowing the Bears to score it off. Uh, we haven't seen Claire Van Tumi for a while, but I think she's coming in. Yep, she ended the half with three fouls. Very difficult to bring her into a third because you don't want to pick up a fourth, especially in a close game like this. This is an opportunity for her to now come in, two fouls to give, but put up some big numbers, give Brady a break. Heading into the fourth, it looks like anybody's game ties. What's going to turn the tide in this one? Well, I think the Saints got to continue to play defense, and they got to make smart decisions with the ball here. I think when this press is coming, they got to look to get it in the middle, and they got to look to continue to pound the paint. Well, I think two things we've talked about all night. In the fourth quarter, the team that turns the ball over the least and the team that makes the most free throws is going to be looking pretty good at the end of this one. Yes. Bears, the Bears coach was not with his team during this pretty much entire quarter break. He was over talking to the refs, trying to plead his case. Not sure what case he was trying to plead or what foul he was looking for, but he was talking to the refs the entire time. Um, well, every coach likes to work the refs in the way they can. That's true. Part of the game. Oh. And with that, we see Van Tomey back out on the floor. Saints for the coming Saints. out with Van Tomey, Macy Wizen, and Savannah Luna, Macaria Hines, and Harmony Tart. Familiar lineup, too, for the Bears. And it's going to be the Bears ball as we begin this final quarter. This is number four, Davis with the ball. Davis going. to number 11. That's Nunez. Nunez. And I think his uh, lobby may work. <laughs> <laughs> that is Hines' second foul. No, that was not on Hines. Sinanuk is flashing across the middle once the ball gets the ball. 
Great Harmony's job, Tart. Tart. Steals it away from her. Harmony's bringing it down. Typically, when you're in the post, you get one dribble. You get one dribble, and you got to secure that ball. That's going to be a foul on number one for the Bears. You have to call it one way. You're going to call it the other way. They're going to call them both. Luna's going to throw it in from the side out to Macaria. <laughs> Saints running no inbounds play there. He's going to set up. They're fronting the Harmony ball. there at the top. They're trying to front Harmony at the top. And there it is. Van Tomey's working down underneath. There's the ball out of the wing. Shot clock's winding down. It's a spin move. With an end. And we're going to get a foul. Macy's going to go to the line with a chance to tie this up. Yep. I would have loved to see Van Tomey there do a half spin and then turn around and shoot. But it worked out. That was a good pass. I think that was a good pass, and we got the shot. Macy hits the first. Good job. Nice shot by Macy Wizen, and game is a one-point game. That's an opportunity to tie it here, which it has not been for a long time. <laughs> shot is up. Good. And we're even up. Bears are bringing it down. It is. And it's a brand-new game. It is. 0-0, zero, zero, nine minutes to play. This is what you practice for. Both teams are playing hard, played hard. Ball goes down low. And to 24, who drives on Van Tomey. Van to Good job, Van Tomey, not getting that foul, getting that block. She had one hand down, but the rest were going to let him play. They let him play that time. I was a little worried about that one. Saints with the ball. Harmony Tart's going to lead this offense here. Not much movement from the Saints. I enjoyed what I saw the first half. There was a lot of cutting. There was a lot more of movement screening. than there has been against the zone. Against right. the zone, we're not cutting like we did earlier. Um, I think they're relying a lot on Harmony to do that. And if she's going to do that, I'm here for it. <laughs> Looks like the Bears, though, are going to bring in a little bit more height here with number mm. 25, uh, Croy coming that's, back in. That's Croy coming back in. Oh, never mind. They're replacing some of their height. Croy coming in is tough, though. That's, she's, she's played a good game. She has. So offensively, there's going to have to help. But the issue is, you also got Sinanuk, the other height. So our height is matched up against height, and there's not much help that can come. Game is tied. Luna brings it in to Van Tomey. Good decision by Luna. Out to Luna, over to Wisenand, to McCray Hines for three. Long three, doesn't go. Tart with the rebound and the putback. Woo! Good job, Tart. No. That's the first lead for the Saints in a long time. It was. They no. are on top, got to play D. That's a tough spot to be in. Everyone was boxing out, doing their job, but no one went for the ball. And Savannah was able to just, or not Savannah, I'm sorry, Harmony Tart was able to get in there and grab that ball. That's going to be an interesting call there. They called a double dribble. Barclay coach is incredulous at that one. Yeah, I, I would have almost thought a carry over a double dribble there, but. Luna's got it. Saints have the lead. Sometimes if you work the refs over, it ends up in your favor. Other times you work them over too much and. Goes the other way. Yep. Good, Good pass. pass by Macaria. Oh, that, that needed to go. A little worried about Claire there on that. And I believe it's going to be an offensive foul on Croy. They. Uh, that's her second. Yes, I believe she came over with the elbow or maybe the arm flailed out, hit Wisenhand in the head, and they're going to call that. Macari has it at the top. Down to Van Tomey in the middle. She's driving to shoot oh, that. Oh, trap. There you go. Good <laughs> rebound by Wisenhand in the middle. She's scrapping around there, making some good plays. Over to Harmony Tart at the free throw line to Van Tomey again. No good. Sinanuk picks up the rebound. Ref, or the Bears coach is going to slow him down, tell him to spread out in the hands of Sinanuk. Back to Munez. Munez driving right in. She dropped that one. She and one. She's going to get the bucket and one. Has the opportunity to take this lead back for the Bears. That's a tough one. That was a good shot. That all kind of happened in slow motion, but that Indeed. was a good play. What's up? Shot is good for the Bears, and they take a one-point lead. Seven there to go. Back in that press, 
Macy with hands open in the middle right there. Good find for her. Down to Van Toman. Oh, should have taken it one in. One that drive. One that drive. That's a Luna out there going to Van Tomey. Same move right there. Her in and up. Hey. And the bounce is good. Van Tomey just has some very impressive footwork for a very freshman. Good. Absolutely. Playing like a vet. And that gives the lead back to the to the Saints. Hands up. Oh, got to have your hands up. When you're driving in like that, they're going to look for your hands and that's can't reach be, the ball. That's going to be in Harmony Tart. Mm. That's her second foul. Saints up by one. They're going to start in a three low set. Bears are trying to get it in. Number 25, Croy, did not leave the middle. Croy is in there. And she's seconds. got a shot and she's going to score. Yeah, I would have loved to see a three second call there as a Saints fan on Croy. Felt like she parked in the lane, huh? I did. They get through the press. Down to Wisenand, down to her. Block good shot, block. That, was, that was a good block by Sinanuk. But it's going to be a travel on number one there. That is number one, Prince. Going to be Saints ball underneath. They have an opportunity here to just get a good shot. They can set some good screens here, get the ball in. The game is playing out like we thought. Close game as it runs down to the wire. Ball goes into Harmony Tart for it, and that's about a 17-footer. And, and it falls. Counts. Good Hands choice. Back up by one. Pines playing up. She's giving a little bit of pressure. She's not allowing the Bears to do anything, set anything up. She's pretty determined on that defense. She Sinanuk is. has it at the top. To Croy. Croy Hands. is difficult to work with. That misses. Risen in with the rebound. Great job, Claire Van Tomey down there. Both hands up. Just doing anything she can to disrupt the shot. She's not going for a block, just disruption. She's going to try to move on the other what a side. Move. Hey! Count that. Great move by Van Tomey. Again, just using that footwork. Fake right, come left, spin over that left shoulder. Right Beautiful hand move. That's the Saints' biggest lead, I think, in, in a long time. It is. It's a three-point lead right now. Saints have an opportunity to get another stop. That's a long two here for And it misses. Croy with the rebound, determined to drive in there. Yep, yep. And she's got Van Tomey on the foul. That's Claire's four. Yeah, if – Van Tomey probably need to either step away or step in front and get the charge, but when you're on that side and she throws it up, it's going to probably go the way of the offense. Van is going to sit for a little bit. Ray Brady comes in. I think that's a difficult choice for Coach Z to make after the, such an offensive impact Van has been making. Croy's at the foul line. The Saints got to keep the intensity up and keep putting the ball in the hole. Makes first. the first. Good. Hit a bow. We're down to a one-point game. Crocher is coming in for the Bears, and she has not played much tonight. Not, so. not much. But they're coming in for this press. I think the Saints they're need to looking do it. To, looking to be able to have good, fresh legs on this one. Saints get it to Luna. Good Luna job. breaks out of that trap, goes down to Brady. Brady's underneath. Ball's in there. Luna comes up with it in the tree. And and Great job, Luna, floating that high, not getting blocked. That was a good play because there was some tall folks down there. Someone's got to get in front of number 12, Kircher, in the corner. She is wide open. That's a three if it goes. It's off. And that's going to be out of bounds, too. Yep, that's going to be the Bears. That's going to be to the Bears. I would agree with that one. Saints are very happy to have that miss there. I think there was some miscommunication. Just in That was a wide open shot. It was a good look. Bears have it up. Going inside. That pass is thrown away. Turnover for the Bears. Great look by Hart. Luna to, has it, and that's two. That was now the lead is five. That was the best offensive possession I have seen the Lady Saints run tonight. Getting the ball, seeing the cutter come up across, finding the open man, and getting a transition bucket. Transition buckets lead to so much energy. You hear it from the crowd right now. Absolutely. There's a lot of excitement on the Saints side and in the crowd. And the Bears call a 30-second timeout. Right now, the Saints are up 43-38. Thanks for coming back out of that timeout. 
Saints have their biggest lead of five. What are they going to have to do to keep this going? Well, they're just going to have to keep that energy up. Like I said, that was the best offensive session I have seen them have, and it was a transition bucket. Seeing the open cutter go across, putting it up ahead of everyone else, playing fast offense. I think they also just got to work on their communication here. There's been a couple times the Saints have gotten lucky, just missed shots by the Bears because they haven't communicated on who's got who. Saints are in that man-to-man. -man. Bears have it at the top. They're going, that's an open look if it goes, and it does. Man, we got to get on number 12, Crocher. Lead is back down to three. The Bears are coming back in playing defense. They're not pressing. No, I think that's a smart decision by them. There's, after having a, giving up a big transition point like that, you've got to get back. They're back up. in their zone. They're in a 2-3 now. I think they're trying to not allow the paint to be pounded and forcing them to shoot. Oh, Brady, if she would have held that. Moon has got it. Shot clock is winding down. Going to be tight for the Saints Still to get five. a shot off. We're a long way from the floor. That's a tough shot. Not much more Macy could have done there. Saints are going to offer a little bit of resistance there at half court. Four minutes left to go in this game. 43-40, Saints up three. Hines, Hines is playing tough. Hines wants her to go left, and she gets a steal. It looks like Croy just ran right over her. Well, Hines is playing some smart defense there. No, exactly. That's a three if it goes off the rim, and that's going to be a foul on Harmony Tart. Yep, that's going to be a push. She came, over, she came over from behind, used her hips, pushed her in. And now for the, what I would argue is the worst part of women's basketball, the fact that there's not a one and one But we're going to shoot two. We're going to shoot two. And I know high school basketball, men's basketball, they have moved to this rule this year where they're no longer shooting one and ones And it is, it's frustrating to see because you got to go up. I feel like you need to earn your shot. If you want it two, you got to earn the first one. Well, I think we're over. No, we're not. We're in the bonus, yeah. Nope. Good. First one's Mike. Mike. They, the, the Barclay Bears are shooting well from the foul line. They are. They That's are what's keeping them well. in this ball game. It is. Good. Man, if they would have been calling this game like how they did in the first quarter, no fouls. <laughs> Bears might, it might yeah. be a whole different story yeah. on what the score is. This game has uh, changed a little bit in the, uh, the way it's been called, I would say. Saints bringing it down up by one, three and a half minutes to play. That was not a complaint for me to the refs. I was just saying we've called the game different. That's okay. I'm sure you've never fussed about the refs before. I try not to. Brady with a little bit aggressive move on Sinanu. But now that I'm not a player, I won't get a tech if I complain about them. So. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> you can't give a tech to us way up here. Nope. Bears are going to bring it in. Their side at the half court. It's uh, number 11, Munez, with the ball. She is behind you, still playing. Drive, and that's an open look if it goes. Rimmed out. Rebound, Harmony Tart. Bank coming down for the was bank. closed. No deposit today. That is a tier. Davis with the drive. Good job, Good Davis. Shot. Switching that left hand, too. That's not easy to do when you drive with your right. Switch over to your left. Leads back up to three. Three minutes to play. Splitting the defense, going over to Sinanuk. That's a shot she's hit. Yep. That one's off. Rebound goes to the Bears. Man, just and that's going to be on Rhea Brady with the reach there. Crocher again, just number 12. She is quick and sneaky. I That's the fourth time I've seen her just have be open to get the ball. Well, both teams are playing really hard, and it's been a good game in that way. It has. It has. Both coaches can be pleased with that. Yep. They're going to go ahead and bring – um, Van Tomey back Van Tomey's in. coming back in. This is that was Brady's second. I coach trust coach is going to trust um, Van Tomey, Put her in. See what she can do. She was pretty hot on the offensive end when she came out. She was. She was. I might have waited till the two minute mark to bring her in. Kept Brady in because she's only like I said she's only given up two. We'll see how this plays out. And that's good. And we're back down to a one point game. Yep. And this Saints is Saints lead the Bears. Number 10, Rios coming back in. For Rios the Saints. coming in for defense. Savannah Luna's bringing the ball down for the Saints with Tira Davis at her side. Luna over to Davis. 
Davis at the top, back to Luna. And Tommy classes across. Davis goes into her, and that's a good steal by yep. the Bears. That was. She got her hand in, but wasn't in Van Tomey's space. Just poked the ball out. And the Bears have it with a chance to go ahead. That might have been an illegal screen, though. you got to set that screen and stay. You can't turn and avoid contact to set the screen. Okay, Hart. Hart's playing defense. Croy's got Hands. it in the middle on Van Tomey. And that's no good. Good defense by Van Tomey there, especially with four fouls. And I know Van Tomey can't hear me up there, but I'm going to say hands every time I see him go down. She needs to stay in this game. Oh, that's an interesting move there. Flop good play one. by Van Tomey. Good job, Van Tomey, finishing. She didn't call anything down there. Nope. Again, <laughs> that's the second time there's been a potential charge or flop or block that has not been called for anything. Yep. Wasn't sure. But we're going to get a full timeout now for the uh, Bears. We are. The Saints are keeping this three-point lead, and it's a full possession, but I would love to see them get to a two-possession lead. They just can't break that cusp of three points, but that's way better than the down three points cusp that they couldn't it break is, earlier. It is way better than that. Uh, Got to play defense here. Probably need about three more stops and be able to make our free throws. Yes. Yes. We are still not in the bonus, though. Our next foul will take us into the bonus, regardless of what it is. It's a big game for the Saints. It has a lot of implications for the regional tournament coming it up. It does. It does. It matters. Our getting, getting a home court game in that regional will be very important. Yes. We'd love to play a lower seed. This is going to be a big, big game for the men's, too, right after with Barclay. They need to pretty much win out to well, have a good seed. They're going to have to get some, they're going to have to get some wins, and they're going to have to beat some teams that are uh, right now currently ahead of them. But, yeah, getting a home game in that uh, – is it, is it the district or really call it district tournament? Uh, it would be a conference and region. Well, I want the region because the conference is at one side, but the region is going to be higher seed plays at home. Is that a new rule? Yep. That is a fantastic That's rule. That's a new rule. I love to hear that because that is – it's difficult to go into a neutral site and be the one yep. seed. If you're, you're the high seed is at home. So, Bears have it. Hines is playing good defense. Oh, Davis wanted it. She's overcommitted there. This is number four, Davis, with the ball. Bears look a little bit out of skill, but they're doing a lot of dribbling. Luna is playing some great defense, forcing Davis to play with her back to the basket the entire Shot time. Shot clock is running down on the Bears. There's only three seconds. That's a long three. Almost. No good. Fell. That was close. Great that pass was. by Luna. Hart's Hart, going to drive. Yep. She's going to be a travel. For a travel. It's going to be a travel. That's what I thought, too. Yeah. yeah. I thought the same. <laughs> the boys are over here. They're Nobody in central colors likes that call, but <laughs> I think it was the right call. Yeah, that was the right call. She, I, If anything, I too, I thought she might have gotten the offensive for low on her shoulder, but her momentum carried her and getting the travel call. Minute 15 to go. Bears trail by three with the ball. Saints are playing defense. Van oh. got that one. Don't reach. Well, she's going to be watching this one the rest of the way. It is, but there's only a minute 12 left. You're going to be seeing Rhea Brady come in. Good game by Van Tomey. Excellent game by Van Tomey. She had a fantastic second half. The freshman half. played phenomenal. Did a great job. And Brady's only got two fouls. She can play as aggressive as she wants here in this back minute and 12 And seconds. I think we're going to need that. I think so, too. Her shot is good. They don't miss very many. They do not. All these red shoes, too. I'm just seeing that. They're all wearing the same shoes. Mm -hmm. Well, I see a yellow pair. I do see too. a yellow, I think. I don't know. That's unique. good. And we're to a one-point game with a minute 12 to go. Bears are in pressure defense here. Saints trying to get it down. Great job, Luna. Luna to Brady. That's too high. Yep. <laughs> right idea, just not quite executed. Yeah, I think Brady was a little low on the court for the deal to make that happen. There's not much room to run and go get it if it's too strong like that. Bears are bringing it down. There's about a minute left and a chance to take the lead. This is Nunez with the ball. Big defensive down. possession here for the Saints. Need a stop here. Need a stop. Brady on the ball. Looking. Brady guarding. She's moving in. She's going to take that shot up with the underhand. Good block by Brady. Ball comes out. Davis has it. And she's going to get a foul call. Yes. Yep. There's going to be two, opportunity, two shot opportunity here for Davis. They in the bonus too? Yes, they are now in the bonus. They were at four. This is their fifth foul, so this will be the first bonus shots of the night for the Saints. Or I guess of the quarter. Of the quarter, yep. 
Big shots here for Atir Davis. First one's long off the back iron. Davis needs to make this one. Need this one to uh, extend that lead where two. a two can't hurt us. Yep. Davis using all of her time. Might get called for a violation here, potentially. At some point, that's a little short. Tart with the rebound in there, fighting for it. Comes out to Davis. Davis shoots. That's a block. Could have got a foul. Didn't get it. Kick out. Kick out. Tart with the oh. shot. Never mind. Don't listen to me. That's not why I'm up here and not on the court. That was, that was just wanting it more than the other player. Harmony Tart made an outstanding play. Three-point game, 30 seconds left to go. There's a big play here now from the defensive end for the Saints. We can a give stop up here. Yeah, we can give up a layup here. Don't we don't want to foul on a layup. The last thing we want is an and one. We want to force to shoot a three here or just take an open layup. They're gonna drive. Nope, they're gonna take a three. Nope. Nope. we are gonna drive. Hands. Shot is up. That's not going. Brady with the rebound. Saints just have to hold. Only ten seconds left. You don't have to do anything. We get a timeout. I'm not sure why we called a timeout, but we, uh, I think we want to set this up to make sure we don't turn it over. Well, all you got to do is hold it, and then they'll foul you, and we go to the line. It's better to plan than to not plan. It is better to plan. You're right. You're right. We looked a little out of sync, but we get it set up here. The ball could go back in uh, all the way down the other end. That is true. And there's no problem. Make, make Barclay play defense full court. And make him get a foul. That's make him true. make him chase you on the foul, and the game will end. Who do you want to see get the ball right here in this final few seconds? Uh, I think Davis or or uh, Luna need the ball here, and uh, just dribble. Don't let yep. him catch you. Dribble as fast as you can, and don't let him catch you. Hines could do that too, probably. Is that what you're thinking? That's what I'm thinking. If I'm Barclay, I'm fouling before the ball comes in. Yep. I think I think the Saints have a great op lineup out here. They've got Luna and Davis, who are both point guards. Brady, who just makes excellent decisions with the basketball when it's right. in her hands. And then Harmony Tart, who can just dribble through every double team. They're, just they're, they're, Harmony Tart might be the most determined player on the floor she, at certain times. At all times. All right, let's see what happens. Luna's going to bring it in. Look for the ball to go to Davis or Hines, in my view. Yep, I think if Davis can set a really good screen here. I'd have her sprint to the other end of the court. I would just pop Davis out. I agree. Somebody Pass sprint. Pass it. You just got to throw it. Great job. Hold it. Hold it. Take They're the foul. They're going to foul Rhea with 5.3 to go. If you make one, this got to make one. One will seal it. Ray is going to get two. This will be a big win for the Saints. It would be a huge win coming back. Coming off of a tough Iowa trip. Shot is up. Off the back iron. The door is still open. The door is still open. Second shot is up, and it's off. Good job, Davis. Davis the rebound. That's going to do it. That should do it. I mean, that is just warning the ball, though. She was going to do anything. Great play by Tira Davis, and the, Lady Saint, or the Saints pull out a three-point win. Yeah, I don't want to say that Sidney Nuke shouldn't have had her hands up there, but when you have your hands up high trying to distract, there's no way to put your hands down and box out. Good win for the Saints. Good win. Uh, needed that one this weekend and picked up that one. As a Coach Zarzutski and the team got to feel real good about that. Yep, they do. They do indeed. And the uh, Lady Saints, they have a break tomorrow, I believe. I don't think Manhattan they, has a team. They don't play tomorrow, so they'll be off till next week. Uh, the Barclay Bears played well, played hard. They did. And so for those of you that want to come back, we are going to switch broadcasts here in a few minutes over to the men's game. And you can watch them take on the Barclay Bears. All right, we're going to close out with this prayer. It was a good game for the Saints, and we will see you all next time.